गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग I wanted to start from where we left last time. Uh, we were doing taxation of uh, business income and uh, partnership. And uh, because the knowledge regarding to business income eventually dictates uh, your understanding of public finance and taxation, if you are able to understand this concept, it means uh, the same concept is going to be used at an advanced level. So it is very critical. We still have um, a topic regarding to what we are discussing right now, but uh, let us push on uh, uh, the aspects of uh, business income and partnership. And uh, uh, from our previous class, we say that uh, the the the, the uh, international financial reporting standard disagrees with the uh, with the Income Tax Act regarding to how the treatment of uh, specific uh, items or specific expenses. And therefore, it is very critical for you to understand not to cram about um, the treatment. How are you supposed to be treating the, uh, these um, incomes and so on? And uh, you can see there is aspects of uh, allowable expenses, which you are able to analyze together with the allowable or genuine expenses of the business. So once you capture those uh, concepts, then it means that uh, uh, you're in a good position to uh, to understand and pass uh, your exams because the knowledge under the business income still is useful under the partnership. And uh, as per the questions which I just want us to do, I want us to start with August 2023, a question of partnership. A question of partnership. So it is very critical for us to understand it. Now, the question was tested on uh, August 2023, um, question number 4C. Uh, the question reads, Mambo Moto and Motoka um, are in a partnership sharing profits and losses in the ratio of 2 is to 1, 2 and 1 respectively. So their statement of profit or loss for the year ended at 1 December 2022 was as follows. Uh, the gross profit is already provided there. We have the sale of the delivery van proceeds, uh, which we say the, that income is an untaxable income of the business. We have some expenses there. We have the adver uh, advertisement, uh, depreciation, rent and rates. Uh, we have um, general expenses. We still have uh, VAT. I can see we have uh, budgets, uh, purchase of furniture, uh, salaries and wages, uh, we have legal uh, fees, uh, goodwill uh, written off. Uh, we still have interest on capital. Um, we also have the net profit for, provided by the examiner there. But the examiner already gives you some additional information. And uh, number one, it says that advertising expenses include a neon sign of one uh, specific acquisition of the neon uh, sign of 120,000. The neon sign is a capital uh, expenditure uh, uh, item, and therefore uh, we don't uh, deduct the purchases, but uh, we normally focus on the capital allowances. Number two, we are talking about the general expense comprised of the partners and your party, which is disallowable. They should not be affecting the the partnership, we have the staff uh, catering services, uh, uh, which is the uh, staff catering services, which is uh, allowable. We have a basement by cashier, is a disallowable, uh, um, is a disallowable expense. Uh, we have the bad debts represented the general provision made for the year. Number four, we are looking at the legal fees comprise the following. We have the parking fines. Uh, parking fines um, of 130,000, which is disallowable, settling a customer dispute, um, settling a customer dispute, uh, a customer dispute, which is allowable expense. Then we have, we have an appeal of the tax assessment, which is disallowable. Then number five, we have been told the investment allowances were agreed with the commission at 380,000. Um, uh, uh, 
One minute. Okay. So we have been told that under the requirement uh, that uh, prepare just a taxable profit or loss of the partnership for the year ended that far December 2022. Second, we have been told that the allocation of the profit or loss in the C1 above to the partners. I remember I said that uh, it is very critical for you to uh, for you to uh, to understand uh, what are uh, these questions at once. So mini sharp atana swali kama hii in an exam. I don't need to start panicking. I will just start sleeping, right? Just go and start sleeping right away because it is very uh, simple. Why? When you look on the, I, I know that uh, you are able to access your, you are able to access your uh, past papers. So you are not using mine. So in this case, um, let me look something here. So we are doing um, public finance and taxation. Let me just write taxation here. We are doing a question regarding to taxation of business income, taxation of business income and partnership, and partnership. Eh? Okay, now you can be able to see me. Then we are doing a question which they tested on August 2023, question number 4C, right? August 2023, question number 4C. Question number 4C. What is Swali? The first thing that I said you should be doing should be the title. So in this case, up on Akuja Nasema, what is the name of the partnership, by the way? So Lewaja Nene Pale Junita Fute, the name of the partnership. So Wanajita Mambo Moto Mambo. So let me write the way you're supposed to be writing it. It should be Mambo. It should be Moto and Mambo Moto and we are Motoka. Right, Motoka. We are talking about 2022 adjusted. Adjusted. What are they, the requirement asking you to do? The requirement is asking you to prepare adjusted. Taxable. Taxable profits. All laws. Right. All laws computation. He already at your stage, you have only one mark. Okay, and you can even underline, you, you have one mark right now. So, up on a good corner, Kenya shillings. Then, up on a corner, another Kenya shillings there. Kenya shillings, Kenya shillings there. Then, allow me to reduce them to thousands of shillings. So, you minimize with three zeros there. I'm not even two. I don't know. I don't know. Let me take the reported profits. So how much is your reported profit? To nine pale chini mali wamekwambia the net profits are totaling to 1597. Aya, unakuja examiner, I want to add disallowable expenses. Right? You want to add the disallowable. The disallowable are able to reduce your reported profits. So that is the reason you want to add them back. So in this case it means I'm going to be starting with the additional information. That is the first stage you have to start with. Additional information first. So the first thing I can be under the additional information number one, we are talking about the acquisition of the neon sign. And I have told you, uh, when you have the items which are qualified for the capital allowances, you are not supposed to be deducting the cost. We normally deduct the capital allowances. This totals to 120, right? 120,000. Number two, we are talking about the general expenses comprised of the following. We have the partners. It should not be affecting uh, NDR party. So uh, the NDR party, well, it cost 150, right? The other thing I can see settling the catering, the staff catering services, I said is allowable, but a embezzlement by cashier, embezzlement by cashier. Right, the misappropriation is not allowed of 210, is not an allowable expense of the business. Number three, we are being told the bad debts. When you look on the app there, you will be able to find examiner is telling you the bad debts were general. When they are general, it means these are non allowable, these are disallowable expenses. So if they are general, 
they were amounted to 250, 250 there. Then the other thing we talk about is not number four. We have been told the parking fines, they are disallowable lessons. Parking fines, parking fines, parking fines amounts to 130, right? Then we have the parking fines, settling a dispute with a customer allowable. Then we have appeal on a tax assessment. Appeal on the tax assessment amounted to 210. Right? Nimemalizana hiyo. Not number five, ni allowable expense. We shall check on it later. Unarudi pale juu kwa expenses. Umemalizana additional information. Unarudi pale juu kwa expenses. Naona na ambiwa na not number one. The first expense was the advertisement allowable. We have depreciation is disallowable. Depreciation, which is disallowable. I'm only 248. We don't recognize depreciation CC. Then we have rendered rates allowable. General expense allowable. We have VAT, which is disallowable. So the VAT is amounted to 150. That is the VAT. Then we have uh, the bad debts we have catered with. Uh, we have the purchase of furniture. Qualifies for capital allowances. So the purchase of furniture amounts to how much? 610. This is 610 off. It should be 620. Down there can be able to see we have salaries and wages allowable. Legal fees are allowable. We have the goodwill. The goodwill which is written off of 225. That is disallowable expense. Then I can see we have the interest on capital. The interest on capital because when I charge the entries, Una, una kila mmoja peke yake. Don't compile. Unaanza na mambo. So the interest for mambo was amounted to 80,000. Ah, yeah. We have for moto, which is 140. Right? Moto is 140. That is how you deal with disallowable expenses. Usha maliza nazo na kuja hapo na niambia. Now, malimu, we can be able to less. Let me just write it here. We less. Allowable expenses stock non-taxable incomes eh? non-taxable income non-taxable income so so in this case i will be able to start with non-taxable income i can see it up there there was a sale of delivery van proceeds on sale of the de delivery van Amounting to one one point four million fourteen hundred. So I don't think it's right. fourteen hundred there. Yeah. Then I remember there is an additional information yeah. in note number five. An examiner was talking yeah. about someone is speaking. Someone is greeting us, is telling us how <laughs> we... that was Motunga. Motunga was greeting us. Welcome, Motunga. So in this case, in note number five, we are being told. The investment allowances were agreed with the commissioner, right? Uh, investment allowances. Now, in your topic here, to your, uh, the next topic, investment allowances, which were agreed with the commissioner is uh, um, 380,000. 380. So, where we adjustments? See, you any other adjustment you're supposed to be putting on this? What you're getting down here, they normally call adjusted business income the adjusted business income the adjusted business income let me see whether you are able to see everything the adjusted business income just want to create like a column somewhere here okay i think now oh no no, no. that is too far oh if it looks like that is okay now let me start by doing my additions here on the side of the disallowable. So, na kuja hapa na angalia disallowable ni ngapi. I start with 120 plus 150 plus 210 uh, plus 250 uh, plus 130, right? Plus 210 uh, plus 148 plus 150 uh, plus 620 plus 225 plus 80 plus 140. We are getting 2433. 
2433 then akuja hapa na add my deductions i think it is 1400 plus 380 we are getting 1780 1780 there 1780 ilisha pata now unakuja unaanzia hapa unasema 1597 plus 2433 Minus 1780. We are getting something closer to 2250. 2250. 2250. 2250. That is the requirement number one. That is the requirement number one. And remember the examiner was giving this was a very simple question. This was very simple uh, question for uh during this sitting. So that is the adjusted business income, right? The partnership is different than when we are dealing with the, a business itself. If we are doing with a limited liability company, so that is part adjusted business income, we can put up a chini ni at other incomes. But in our case here, the other incomes under partnership, we normally add them under the allocation schedule. So let us go to the allocation schedule. So how much is our allocation schedule? So remember the partners, two corner MMM. Then we have our totals here. Correct. That is how you now mepanga uh, swali yako now. So in this case, we will start with the, uh, remember what is basically included here. What is normally included here uh, under the partnership. Uh, we normally have the interest on capital. Right. We have the interest on capital. We have uh, salaries to partners. Salaries to partners. Who a bonus? Who a commission? I know they are not there. Right? Who a less up? Who can go na less? Interest on drawings. We have interest on the drawings. Then we have something else here. Right? We normally have profits. Stock loss. Sharing. Then in adjusted uh, business income, yako naika hapa chini. Adjusted business income. Adjusted business income. So, in this case, I can be able to start on the interest on capital. Nikiangalia the interest on capital, there was only two people who had them. So, the interest on capital, this one had 80. This one, 40. Uyo akuwa nayo, right? Mutoka akuwa nayo. This comes to 220. Salaries to partners. Salaries to partners. Kuna mani meskia salaries to partners. Salaries to partners. Let me see. Uh, but that's a basement. Uh, all that. Eh? Do you have salaries to partners? Someone? Oh, let me check. Let me check. Do you have salaries to partners? I have not had something regarding to that. But that's provision. Ego fees. So I tuna anything here. Remember, all of these are not allowed. They are not applicable right now. This is what you are doing. Right? Maybe you want to for you now to understand. So, Usha Fikapa, Apa to Nafanya Nini, Apo Nakuja 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 now let me check. It should be somewhere here. 22, uh, 2250. 2250 now. Ushaye kapo na kujo na How much are they sharing? Uh, considering that the interest on capital already was the payable. So how much are they going to be sharing? So na kujo na niambia. Whatever they are going to be sharing now, it is the difference. Right? Whatever they are going to be sharing now, it is the difference now. It is the difference. So what is the difference here? You will be able to realize that the difference will be between... 2250 here and 220. So, Nakuja, you are calculating money. 2250 minus 220. How about 2030? 2030 there. 2030. So, if you have 2030, you will have the ratio. The ratio is 2, 1 is to 1, right? So, to have the ratio is 2, 1 is to 1, right? So, to have the ratio is 2, 1 is to 1, right? So, to have the ratio is 2, 1 is to 1, right? So, to have the ratio is 2, 1 is to 1, right? So, to have the ratio is 2, 1 is to 1, right? So, to have the ratio is 2, 1 
So it will be 2 divided by 4. Because 4 is coming from 2 plus 1 plus 1. That is 4. 2 divided by 4 times 2030. We are getting 1015 for Mambo. So for Moto now, it is 1 over 4. 1 divided by 4 times 2030. We are getting 507.5. 507.5. How much is the total here? So in a journey five or seven point five. So the total for uh, for uh, motor, we take one, five or seven point five plus one forty, getting six hundred and forty seven point five. Then the first one now becomes ten fifteen plus eighty. Ten fifteen plus eighty, you are getting ten and five here. So to get one other incomes for this for this uh, for this question. Ningekuja ni other upper. The same other incomes. For example, let me talk about the rental income. Wangekuwa na rental income, you could be able to distribute. Ah, yeah. Tuko na farming income, for example. Zote zingekuwa tungekuja upper. And you allocate each to every employee. For, uh, for each partner, sorry. For each partner. So, in order for now, after you add the other income, is when you are going to be getting... The adjusted uh, tax payable. Eh? Let me talk about tax payable. Taxable income. It should be the taxable income. The taxable income, this one will be 1095. This one will be 647.5. And then this one will be 507.5. 507.5. That is how you normally do it. This is the taxable income. Sijawesi ya mtu. Uh, who are partners on ATK Arena at our fire returns every month? Apana, apana. So, when we are going to allocate it, is normally done once. Eh? So, when we are going to allocate at the end of the year, KRA is a fuata individual. It is not the partnership. They normally follow the individual partners, the individual partners. That is how you deal with the question regarding to the partnership. That is how you normally deal with the partnership. And you can see you have to be allocating. You are allocating to the partners. You are outcomes your outcomes any question any question there any any question any question any question that is how we deal with these questions they are very simple that is partnership why the tongue one in guinea later pali december nazina kuja kila semester so akuna semester na semester ti mwalimu ni predict here at what will be coming in an exam they are bringing these questions every semester every semester let us see here for example, now in 2023, December, let me see here. December 2023, and someone should be reading the question for us now. Let me now pick Esther to start reading for us tonight. They can't miss. They can't miss. So, how does the same thing to predict here? There is no any predictions other than this one. So, predictions. So, read for us this question, please. Esther? Uh, Bright Decker Limited is a company engaged in furniture and fittings, making for both local and export market. The company provided the following statement of the profit and loss for the year ended at 1st December 2022. Uh, Bright Decker Limited statement of profit and or loss for the year ended at 1st December 2022. Sales ninety five thousand, cost of sales, opening inventory six thousand, purchases forty thousand, closing in inventory, uh, gross profit, other incomes, interest from base trade bank gross, uh, one thousand eight hundred, insurance recovery pickup one thousand, profit from sale of marketable securities nine hundred. Dividend from T Cooperative Society net 600. Income from sale of sawdust 2100. And then sell, so it's cost sales, cost of less cost of sales, and then you, you less expenses. Finance charges 500. Insurance 2000. Salaries and wages 4800. Legal expenses, uh, two thousand. Uh, 
salary contri NHF contribution staff 300, intangible assets written off 1,400, legal expenses 200, bad debts, uh, legal expenses 2,000, bad debts 200, repair and maintenance 2,500, floating expenses 1,400, pickups scrapped in an accident 2,000, depreciation 3,400, uh, donations to local church 800, rates and licenses 4,000, director's allowances 4,000, traveling expenses 6,000, pension to retired staff 8,700, entertainment 1,100, computer software package 300, telephone expenses 200, and the net profit for the year was 19,800. So for the additional information, director's allowances included 1.2 million paid to, to defend one of the di directors in a private legal suit. Additional information number two, legal expenses comprised of preparing lease for 100 years, collection of business debts, defense against claims of breach of trade, purchases of directors' private residence, which totaled to 2,000. Uh, additional information number three reads, 40% 40, 40 of entertainment expenses relate to one of the director's entertainment while on a family holiday in Paris. Inventories were valued at 10% below the cost price consistently. And then additional information number five reads, the cost of floating shares was in respect of a private placement where 30% of the shares were sold. Uh, capital allowances were agreed at, uh, cost at 2 million and no investment allowance had been claimed in respect of the computer software. Okay. Uh, and then additional information number seven reads, but bad debt include an estimate default of shillings 80, we are required to compute the taxable profit or loss for Bright Decker Limited for the year ended 2022, and also compute uh, the taxable payab tax payable, if any, on the income computed in B1 above. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much. Um, it is a very simple question. You can be able to see even they have already provided you uh, with a very good information there. And therefore, um, and therefore, it is very important for you to start working with the additional information. And when you are doing taxation, I don't even understand how students pay this. Taxation normally works with the entries. The more you are putting the entries, you shall sum of entries and you make the correct entries. The shall Peter Nani, right? It means now you can be able to proceed with other questions. You don't need to tell us the additions, uh, blah, blah, all that. Eh? The, the entries normally matters a lot. Now, let me now start by looking on this question in a very easy way. It's very simple. It is very simple. I don't know whether it is me who uh, sees that or we all uh, see that when you are doing taxation. So we have Bright Decker Limited. Let me write with caps, please. Bright Decker Limited. Bright Decker Limited. We have been told to come up with the taxable profit or loss for 2022. So 2022 adjusted taxable profits, profit stock loss, computation, computation there. So we have our columns here, Kenya shillings. Very simple, you can see how it is. And I said if it is to underline, you have to be underlining. We go now to the reported profits. profit That is how you start the question. So the reported profit of ours now, the reported profit I can see there, we are talking about 19,800. Now, straight away we have to be looking on there. We add 
disallowable expenses. They say the disallowable expenses, they are expenses which are not recognized by the Income Tax Act. And we are going to be starting with the additional information number one, where we are being told the direct allowances will be able to include 1.2 million paid to defend one of the directors in a private legal suit, right? One second, one second. One second. Mm. Okay, so we are starting with the additional information number one. I have said that uh, the additional information number one is uh, to defend one of the directors, uh, defending directors. Directors in a legal suit, right? In a legal suit is a disallowable expense of 1200. You put it here. Now we go to the additional number two. We are being told the legal expenses comprising of preparing leaves. To the summer, we accept a, a lease of 99 years, right? Preparing lease for 100 years. So the lease of 100 years, right, of the 800 shillings, disallowable expense. We have collection of business debt, allowable expense. Defense against claims of breach of contract. Against breach of contract. In the same upper two uh, students can make their own assumption there. Eh? When we are defending, uh, we talk about uh, successful defense against an alleged breach of contract. One student will say this was successful. I can bracket now, I can that. Successful, it means it's allowable. Another student will say it was unsuccessful. If you are unsuccessful, it means it is a disallowable legal expense. It is based on now you're going to be making your assumptions there. Then the other one would be the purchase of directors, private residents. Right, purchase of directors private residence right this purchase amounts to how much 200 is that is allowable expense now let us go to note number three we have been told 40 percent of the entertainment expense led to the director's entertainment directors entertainment which was private it was with the family so in this case, 40% of the entertainment allowances. 40%, entertainment allowances entertainment allowances. Let me see up there. The entertainment was 1100 there. Eh? It was 1100 So if you 1100 is how much? 440 Correct, 440 there. Inventories was valued at 10% below the cost of price consistently. So uh, when we underprice the uh, the inventory, right? Inventory. So um, inventories were valued ten percent. So inventories it means. Let me see whether we have both here. So the opening inventory we say it, the opening stock and purchases have an inverse relationship with the profits. When they are overstated, profits is understated, right? When they are overstated, profits is understated. And then you can see that the opening inventory was under, understated. So when the opening inventory is understated, it means the profit is overstated. And therefore, it means that uh, understatement of uh, inventory, the understatement of opening inventory uh, should be deducted because it increased the reported profits, right? When it is understated, I have said the profit is overstated. Now, the closing stock and sales, we say they have a direct relationship with the, with the profit. So in this case, it, you can be able to see if the closing stock is understated by 10, it is understated by 10, it means the profit is also understated, right? So it means the, the so here we are going to be looking on understatement, understated closing stock. So understated closing stock, it means the value which is already in our income statement, the value now, the closing inventory is 10,000. 
Wewe hapo unaniambia mwalimu kama ni 10000 na iko understated by uh, 10% it means this figure is equated to 90%. Unajiuliza what about the 10% which was understated? Because once you understand the closing stock you have said you have also understated the reported profits. So it means to correct that problem you have to you have to add back. So in this case it will be 10 over 90 times 10000. 10 over 90 times uh, 10,000. So in this case, it will be 1 divided by 9 times 10,000. You're going to be getting triple 1. Something looking like that. Something looking like that. That is the, the understatement of the closing inventory. Now, from there, now let us continue because we have said that will be up for inventory later for the opening. Now, number five, we are being told the cost of the floating shares was in respect for a private placement uh, where 30% of the shares were sold, right? Uh, placement, the private, the private placement. The cost of floating sh charges was in respect uh, to the uh, private rest, uh, placement where 30% of the shares was sold, that percent. So where is it now? Let me see the floating expenses. Uh -huh. So that floating... It was not related to the business. Eh? The cost of the floating shares, it was the respect of the private that was not related there to the uh, to the company. So the floating expenses disallowable. The floating expenses in the same they were private. They were not related to the company. So the floating expenses were amounted to how much? Fourteen hundred. Fourteen hundred. Unaika apa. 1400 you put it there then from there now you can be able to go to number six the capital allowances were agreed at two million no investment allowance has been claimed with respect to the computer software we will be able to claim it then number seven you have been told the bad debts include an estimated default of 80 an estimated default so the bad debts of ours was 200 so the bad debts students because hakuna mali tumeambiwa whether they are uh, Uh, whether our bad debts were uh, uh, the bad debts of ours were, were were specific or general, one student will make an assumption and say, "Me, these ones of mine they are general." Senior. So if they were general, it means that uh, we are discussing about uh, um, uh, it, 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 we are we are talking about the bad debts of around two hundred, two hundred, yeah, two hundred there. Now, when you look at it in that manner, and you look at it, uh, one minute, one minute. There's something I want to confirm with you there. One minute, two. I will be able to confirm something. If you continue capturing that information, Let me check something there. I'm giving you some time to read that point so that I can confirm the the last bit of the of the default estimation. Because I've been told there is a default estimation there. So let me capture that. Right. So just a minute, so that I don't leave any point unanswered. And to Lisa, what is happening here and there? Just, just one minute, please. The figure for the bad debts, as we continue doing our analysis. Should be around 120, 120, because they are doing an estimation. So out of the figures which you are doing, you are supposed to be deducting 80, 200 minus 80. That is why I have said they have done my assumption that the bad debts which were general. Mine I have put them as general expenses. So it means that the 80, which is an estimation, is is not a natural figure. It should be deducted. And therefore, our actual bad debts were around 120. So let us go up there. So when you go up here, now I check on the areas of the 
expenses. We have finance charges. Those are like uh, uh, interest, uh, which are allowable, insurance allowable, salaries and wages allowable. We have NHIF contributions. NHIF contributions, they are not an allowable expense because the employees are normally deducted from their salaries. And therefore, it doesn't, it is not an expense to the company, yet it's 300. Then we have uh, intangible assets. Intangible assets written off, disallowable, amounting to 1,400. Then the third one, we have been told the legal expense we have already analyzed, but there's captured repairs and maintenance. Um, uh, uh, captured, uh, we have uh, floating expenses captured. We have the pickup. <clears throat> pickup scraps. In accidents. Right? Pickup scraps in an accident of 2 million. 2,000 in our case. Uh, we have depreciation, disallowable. How much is our depreciation? We say our depreciation amounts to 3.4 million. I can see we have donations. Donations. We say our donations amounting to 800. We have rendered rates allowable expense. We also have things like uh, director's allowances. We have uh, checked on it. Traveling expenses, we have pension to retired staff. Pension to retired staff. So is it a pension and allowable, disallowable? Right, pension to retired staff. Is that disallowable, right? Pension. Pension. Pension is amounting to how much? To retired staff of 8,700. Your pension on is we contribute for it. So it is not an amount that uh, an, an organization incurs. We have computer software. So the computer software, we have how much? The computer software purchase, it is 300. We said you are not supposed to be deducting the cost of the purchase of an asset, but you are supposed to be checking on the, uh, we are supposed to be checking on the, um, what are we supposed to be checking on? Uh, there is something that we are supposed to be checking on. Uh -huh. Very good. Now, uh, you see, there is something I want to see there. Donations, my deductible rates, deductible. Uh, Okay, so I was just checking on something there regarding to to pensions. So the pensions, pension but we can treat it as two way. The pension now we can be able to check if it doesn't relate to the it is a pension which the organization was contributing is our for the on behalf of the employees. It can't be an allowable expense. Um, but the pension we are being told to retired staff. Can I, can we be able to allow? Let us allow it. Let us just uh, assume that the organization is the one which are incurring the pension. So let us ignore that. So our computer software to Malizi and I upper because it's a pension which is not explainable. You can treat it the way you want, but let me not include it there. So my computer is three hundred here. Then let us less. Our allowable, our allowable expenses, stock, non-taxable incomes, non-taxable incomes. So I will start with the uh, with the. We have been told in this question somewhere. Uh, the last point, for example, the second last, the capital allowances were two million. The capital allowances were how much? The capital allowances we have been told it was two million here. It was two million. Board is not clear. I'm not able to see the board. Ilienda Waki. Okay. Sorry, sorry for that. Thank you. Thank you. 
let me see the challenge. Just wait. See the challenge, yeah. <laughs> One minute, one minute, please. No way. The board now starts misbehaving. One minute, one minute. So let us proceed. I have said the capital allowance is 2,000, right? The, the capital allowance is 2,000. Then on the same note, we are being told down there that uh, no investment allowance has been claimed for software, computer software. If they do not claim, now let us claim it, right? Now, in this case, computer softwares, computer software, in a qualified for class one, for class one at the rate of 25%. So it will be 25% of the cost, which is 300. This also to 75, total to 75 there. The total to 75, right? Then from there, <clears throat> the computer software 75 shillings. Then there is a, uh, we talked about understated opening stock. The understated opening stock. So the understated opening stock was understated at how much? When you understand the opening stock, right, you overstate the reported profit. And therefore, we were being told it was at 10, 10%. So 10 over 90, we multiply by what? 10 over 90, we multiply with the figure now of the opening stock. Let me just check on the opening stock here. So the opening inventory was 6,000. Right, 6,000 there. So in this case, it will be 10 divided by 90 times 6,000. Getting 667, allow me to, to round off to that in that manner, 667 there. That is the figure which was understated, making the reported profit to be overstated. Then from there now, you can deal with the other incomes. We have the interest from Betway Bank. Interest from the interest from best way. The interest from best way bank. So this interest was amounted to 1.8. The other one was amounting to the insurance recovery. So the insurance recovery was amounting to for the pickup was 1,000. Okay, then we also have profit from the sale of marketable, profit on sale of marketable securities, the marketable securities amounting to 900. Then we have the dividend from T Cooperative, from the T Corp, the dividend from T Corp. Amounting to 600. Then the last one we have been told, we have the income from sale of sawdust. So the interest income or the income from the sale of sawdust amounted to 2100. Eh? So how much is this? So what you are getting here, we normally call it adjusted business income. Our adjusted business income, you are going to be getting it down there. So let me add first the disallowable expenses. We have 1200 plus 800 plus 200 plus 440 plus 341, 1 plus 
plus 3400 plus 800 now plus 300 there. We are getting something closer to 13,471. 13,471. The, the deductions in Ngapi, you know, 2,000 plus uh, 75 plus 667 plus 1800 1800 uh, plus 1000 plus 900 plus 600 plus 2100 we are getting here at 142 we should be deducted so in this case i'm going to be taking 19800 plus 13,471 minus my answer, getting 24,000, 24,129, 24,129. Any question at that point? Any question? Any question, please? Any question? For the computer software, why did you do 25% times 300? Computer software are qualified for class one under the capital allowances. And the examiner had already told us it was not part of the, it is not part of the, uh, part of the capital allowances which were negotiated. So that is the reason we did it because the computer softwares normally qualify for the capital allowances. Are we in agreement at that point? Understood? Yes, because they are not they are not part and parcel of the uh, 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 they are not part of that. Now let us go now to other incomes. Uh, let us go to other incomes of the business. Mm -hmm. So remember when we are dealing with the, when we were discussing about the other incomes, we, these are the things that we wanted as uh, under the taxation of investment income. These are the things that we were talking and looking on now we can be able to retreat them. For example, when we look on the other incomes here, and which we are going to be more, uh, checking on, we have the dividends from T cooperative. The dividend from T cooperative. So remember when we are looking on the, the dividends aspects here, under the taxation of investment income, we said um, the qualified dividends, we said these are the dividends um these are the dividends received from financial institutions and body corporates and then then the other qualified dividends that we had they were the dividend received from circles but non qualified dividend we as we say it a uh, withholding tax of 15 percent will not be final and we say the gross amount is going to be added uh, to other incomes uh tax according after which a uh, withholding tax relief is going to be granted so these dividends normally comprises of uh the dividend received from a cooperative society. So, for example, the, the ones that we have here. So, the dividend from the cooperative society of ours here, we have uh, the dividend from T cooperative society of 600. And then we have been told they are in, in net. So, in net, it, it means if we want to add them here, that's more the judicial gross. In Amanisha, already the 15% is already submitted to the revenue authority. So, to know the amount which was gross, remember this figure now of 600 is equivalent to 85 percent what about a hundred percent so in this case we say 600 times 100 divided by 85 divided by 85 you need to take them back to gross because already you can be one in net to assure to your amount so times 100 divided by 85 so these amounts uh these amount totals to around seven or six Seven or six there. Then we have some interest. I saw some interest somewhere. Those are the dividends. We have the interest from Best Way Bank. From Best Way. 
the interest from best way bank, right? Now, when you look on the areas of the interest, as per our notes, and now we were able to agree, we say that uh, non-qualified interest, which are subject, subjected for further, uh, for further um, taxation, uh, these are the uh, withholding of 15% is, uh, is not final. Then the, we talked about the interest received by body corporate from the financial institutions and the financial institution more than in banks, right? So in our case, then those ones are gross, we add 1800. So after we add let us look on the total adjusted taxable income. So in this case, it means you need to be taking 24. You take your 24,129 plus 706 plus 1,800. We are getting something closer to 26,635. 26,635. Any question? Any question there? Any, any question? So come Akuna Swami, we can proceed. We don't have any question, we can proceed. We say, let us determine the tax payable. Now, Kiangali Swali ni mefanya tofauti na ya partnership. You see, we have added other incomes here. This is for the company, right? For the partnership, you can't add other incomes there. So the tax payable would be, we are going to be taking the corporation tax rate of 30% times 26,635. How much are you getting here? Times 0 0.3. Here we are getting 7,990.5, 7, we less the withholdings, the withholding tax relief. So the, the, the relief normally reduces the tax payable. So in this case, we are talking about some dividends from COP, COP society. So in this case, we are talking about 15% of 706. 15% of this now, this gross amount. Eh? So 0 0.15 times 706, 706, we are getting one of 5.9. Then we have the interest. The interest from best bank. So the interest from the best bank, we talk about 15% of 1800. 15% of 1800, which is 270. So how much is the total tax payable? So in this case, Nasema, 7990.5 minus 105.9 minus my answer, getting 7614.6. 7614.6. That is how to do the computation for the tax payable. And then the reliefs, you have to be giving out the reliefs. You have to give the reliefs out. Any question? Any questions there? Any questions? Any questions? Any any questions you can This is what I want to know. Do we have a question at that point? So come on, Tuna Swali, we can proceed. So on the same question, on the same paper, for December 2023, question now number, uh, question number 5B, we have a question for partnership and we can be able to work on it uh, question for the partnership is there 
Someone will be able to read for us. We look for that person. Vincent, please. Vincent. James and Patrick are partners trading as highway enterprises and sharing profit and losses equally. The following information was extracted from their books of accounts for the year ended that 1st December 2022. Sales, and 3,800,000. Central income, that is commercial properties, 750,000. Dividend income, gross. 560,000. Sundry receipts, 200,000. Gain on foreign exchange realized, 65,000. Interest on deposits with foreign bank, 48,000. Profit on disposal of machinery, that 5,000. Retroits, 95,458,000. Then expenses. Cost of goods sold, 66,750,000. Registration of patents, 145,000. Hosting of business web website, 72,000. Purchase of computer, 220,000. Staff, salaries and wages, 5,620,000. Partner's salary, James, 1,150,000. Patrick, 1,140,000. Audit fees, 225,000. Insurance, 350,000. Purchase of office machinery, 480,000. Commission to Patrick, commission to partners, James, 2,120,000. Patrick, 2,180,000. Stamp duty, 126,000. Payment of goodwill, 144,000. Bank charges, 65,000. Fixing of new sign, 8,000. VAT paid, 180,000. Repair of machinery, one, that is 18,000. Purchase of telephone equipment, 53,000. Legal fees, 280,000. Gift to employees for meeting target, 160,400. Donation to Red Cross, 75,000. Loan to employees written off 138,400. Cost of relocating to new premises 275,600. Retardance payment to employees 1,184,300. Investment seminar for retired employees 3,300. And 25,500. Depreciation, 185,000. The total for expenses is 83,712,200. Then the net profit is 11,745,800. 11, Additional information. Insurance comprises of insurance cover for imported machinery against loss on transit that, that costed uh, 150,000. Insurance cover for business premises, 200,000, a total of 350,000. Legal fees included 25, included shilling, 25,000, and card on drafting a loan arrangement between the partnership and a bank. Cost of goods sold include carriage cost of machinery to the business premises, amounting 34,000. Closing inventory was overvalued by 25,000 shillings and opening inventory was undervalued by 48,000 shillings. Dividend income was from investment in dividend income was from investment in share in a local farmers cooperative society. Then required compute adjusted taxable profit or loss of the partnership for the year ended that first December. 2022, 10 marks. And then the second one, allocation of taxable profit or loss computed in D1 above to the partners, 2 marks. 
A good question is already given there. Um, and be able to see that uh, one semester, uh, uh, two criteria, uh, similar criteria are being brought in an exam. Uh, you have been told about uh, uh, um, some few elements you have to factor in there. Now, when you look on the items which you are supposed to be uh, working on in these analyses, uh, you're supposed to be uh, analyzing your additional information first. And uh, I think this will be our last questions to do uh, due to time. So let me start by checking on the... the Okay, now when you look at it, um, we have been told that uh, in additional information and the, the area which you need to, to check on, the insurance cover for important machinery against loss on transit of 150, uh, insurance cover for business premises of 200,000 that is allowable. Uh, number two, we have been told the legal fees include 25,000 incurred on drafting a loan arrangement between the partnership and bank. We say that uh, the only way we can be able to allow is the issue of shares. Any loan acquisition is not uh, factored. That is the thing that uh, you need to put into consideration. Um, there is another thing there which we need to check on. How things like uh, uh, we have been told that uh, the closing, sorry, the cost of goods sold include the carriage cost of a machine to the business premises amounted to that four. That is a capital expenditure and therefore should be adjusted. Uh, closing inventory was overvalued by 25,000 and the opening inventory was undervalued by 48,000. Uh, I remember now we are still getting back to the aspects of the analyzing of the closing and the opening inventories. And we say that uh, when the opening inventory is overstated, the profit is understated. It means that uh, uh, the, uh, the, when you undervalue it, when you're undervaluing, uh, when you have undervalued the opening stock, um, the profit is over, over, overstated, and therefore that should be deducted uh, to correct that uh, uh, mistake there. But when the closing stock is, um, is overvalued, the profit is also overvalued and therefore should still be adjusted for. So if you understand that now, it is very important for you to come here. Malimu, this is a very simple and uh, small concept which we, we are dealing with. So, lazima tuangalia kwanza partnership in inaitwa aji. So, tunambiwa here, inaitwa compute for the wakona jina moja ama ni, ni true gems and partners trading as highway enterprises. And they are sharing the profits and losses equally. So, they are called highway enterprises. The question is on uh, December 2023 again. It should be question number question number five C or is it C? Yes, it should be even D. This is question five B. So in Aitwa Highway Enterprises, remember these ones you're supposed to be writing with caps. Uh, so let me go very fast. Highway Enterprises. We are talking about twenty twenty two. Adjusted. Taxable profit, stock loss, computation. So, who can call up the Kenya shillings? Right? Who can Kenya shillings there? Then, who can Kenya shillings up? So, in this case, um, when you have it, those two Kenya shillings, I go back now to the uh, to the reported profits. So, I could have on a same let us take our reported. Profits. Our reported profit now, we have been told it is 11,000. Let me reduce it. So 11,745. 
0 0.8, 0 0.8 there. Then we add disallowable expenses. We had disallowable expenses. And uh, our disallowable expenses will be starting with those insurances. I can be able to see there. So the insurances cover for imported machinery. They are non-deductible. Uh, we talk about disallowable expenses. So insurance cover relating to machinery is a disallowable expense amounting to 150. The other one is, is okay. It's an allowable expense. Now, when you go to note number two, we have been told the legal fees including 5,000, right? Legal fees is disallowable. Legal fees for loan, right? Legal fee for the loan arrangement of 25,000. In my case, it should be 25. Then we have been told that uh, cost of goods sold include the carriage costs. These carriage costs Relates to machinery. The carriage cost will be related to the machinery, amounting to 34. 34 there. Then we have been told the closing inventory. We have said all of that. We deduct. Dividends income was from investment in Shane, the local farmers cooperative. We'll be able to deal with it. To Narudi Baleju, Kualigol expenses. The cost of goods is okay. We have the registration. Registration of patents. So there is the registration of the patent is 145. Ah, yeah. Took on a hosting of business websites, capital. Uh, business websites, business website amounted to 72. We are talking about parties of computer. So the parties of computer amounted to 220. Staff salaries and wages allowable. Ah, oh, yeah. Took on a partner salary. Partner salary. Even the Unaika. Because you, you, are, you want more entries. Unakuja hapo nasema. Took on a James. Na took on a Patrick. So kila mtu na mwekea yake. You don't compile. 21, 20. Na 21, 80. 21, 20, 21, 80. Stamp duty is allowable. So the stamp duty is disallowable, amounted to 126. Took on an impairment of goodwill. So the impairment of goodwill amounts to 114. Took on a bank charges, allowable. Fixing of neon sign. Right, uh, we talk about the installation, which is 80. Now, two kind of things like uh, VAT page. VAT page, the VAT page amounting to 180. It's not, it's that disallowable. Repair machinery, okay. Patches of telephone equipment. Patches of telephone. The patches of phone, um, equipment of 53. Ah, yeah. Two corner things like gifting to employee for meeting targets, donation to Red Cross, all of that allowable. Loan to employees written off. Loan to employees. So, uh, let me check on it. The loans to employees. Uh, let me check the dividends income. Okay. Look on something here. Loan to employees. So in this case, you can say the Red Cross is a charitable organization is an allowable expense. You can do that assumption. The loan to employees is uh, disallowable. You don't take the loan from the employees. Right, unakuja inaumiza biashara pana. The loan to employees of 138.4, unless your company kazi yake ni kupeana loan. Unless kazi yake ni kupeana loans. The other thing here we can be able to see is, uh, we have been told the cost of relocating to new, 
cost of relocating to new premises, capital expenditure, cost of relocating to new premises. The cost of relocating to new premises is not an allowable expense of the business to 75.6. 275.6. Then we have redundancy payments to employees. Redundancy payments uh, to employees. It should be allowable. Then we have uh, investment seminar. Do we have something like that? Uh, uh, investment seminar for retired employees. Then the last thing that I can be able to see which is disallowable. We should be talking about depreciation. Our depreciation, we have been given 185. less allowable expenses. Talk, non-taxable incomes. Non-taxable incomes, yeah. So I will start with the first one. Um, the issue regarding to the undervalues. So there is a closing inventory which was overvalued. Overstated of closing stock. Overstated of closing stock. So understated of the closing stock mean that P. Overstated. Overstated. Now, in this case, um, we have been told the closing inventory was overvalued by 25,000. So in our case here is 25. Then the other one we have been told. Where are the opening stock is understated? Of Understated of the opening stock, uh, 48. Because we have been told the closing stock was overstated, which is okay. Now, dividend income, that one later. Now, when it comes to the, um, that is done now. Now, let me look at the items which are uh, qualifying here for capital, uh, for capital, uh, capital what? Capital allowances. Capital allowances. Now, carriage cost machinery, no problem with that. Uh, hosting of business websites. We have the purchase of computers. So computers qualify 25%. 25% of 220. Uh, that is one. Then we have, those are the computers, salary, stamp duty, goodwill, fixing dividend, purchase of telephones. So the telephones na sema tuni za kawaida unazipeleka kwa other 10% of uh, 53. Haya, we have loan of employees, nothing else there. Tuende kwa incomes now, pale juu. Tuko na rental income. Rental income, we have been told rental income relating to the uh, commercial properties of 750. Ah, yeah. You're going to keep to dividend income. Dividend income. So the dividend income, we have uh, 560. Two corner Sandra receipts. Sandra receipts. Uh, we have uh, 200. Gain. We have been told it is okay. Because already it shall be up on exam. It was realized. Took on our interest on deposit with foreign bank. Interest on deposit with, with bank, with the foreign bank, amounting to 48. Amounting to 48 there. We have profit on disposal of machinery. Profit on disposal of machinery. Profit on the disposal of machinery, I'm only to 35, 35 here. I'm only to 35 there. So, Shama, this is how you can do it. So, we have 0 0.25 times 220. Here we are getting 55. Then we have here 5.3. Okay. So, how much is the total there? So, we have 150. Plus 25, plus 
plus 34, plus 145, plus 72, plus 220, plus 21, 20, plus 21, 80, uh, plus 126, plus 114, plus 80, plus 180, plus 53, uh, plus 138.4, plus 275.6 plus 185. Getting around 1698. 1698. That one will be 25. 25 plus what now? We have 25 plus 48 plus 55 plus 5.3 plus 750, plus 560, uh, plus 200, plus 48, plus 35. We are getting 1726.3. You may part up on a video adjusted business income. So how much is the adjusted business income? I take 11,745.8 plus 60.98 minus my answer, getting 16,117.5. Once you have done with that one, then you'll end up with allocation schedule. We have a location schedule now. Yo shall maliza asa mune maliza na hapu. Na kuja kwa location schedule. Right. Location schedule there. There are only two people here. So na kuja kwa location schedule, you allocate to each partners. So the location schedule, we have only two people here. Right. We have uh, JP. Tuko na Toto. Ah, yeah. Kuna well, only two things I saw there. To go to salaries to partners. Salaries to partners. The one has 2120. Right? We have salaries to partners. The first one has the. Let me deduct here now. Kuna kitu ni bisao. Partner salary. Am I doing the right question? Because. Salaries to partner sick worker, there must be some adjustment you have to be putting somewhere. Right? Because I can see there is something called uh, the what I deducted here was the commission to partners. Now, Kuna Mutual in Yambia. Commissioners to partners. But to Likuan na salaries to partners. To Likuan salaries to partners, where we are being told J na P. So the JNP was 1150. It was 1150, and the other one was 1140. So let me make my adjustments with my answer there. So it means 1698. 1698 there. 1698 plus 1150 plus 1140. Getting it at 388. Minus 1726.3 plus now the net profit of ours is 11,745.8. Getting 18,000 here. 18,407. Now here it is 1150. Here is 1140. Total should be 2290. Commission now. Commission in Gapi. Commission in Yonani 2120. 2120 here. So how much is the total? 2120. Plus 2180, getting 4300. Now, here we talk about uh, share of profits. 
Higher. Uh, profit stocks loss sharing. Here we are discussing about our adjusted business income. Higher. Uh, yeah. We are we are we are going to be allocating 18,047.5. So much for your 18,047.5 minus 4300. Right? Minus 2290. I'm going to 11,817.5. Right? Distribute it now to the partners who are sharing equally. We are about 5908.75. 5908.75.75. Shama liza kufanya hivo nao. Na kuja hapo unapea watu mali yao nao. Na kuja hapo unapea what belongs to them. In terms of the other incomes now. So na kuja hapo kwa other incomes. Tunaanza na other incomes. Other incomes. On the other incomes now, let me analyze them. Uh, Watches, kuna vitu ni naona nimesau mali. But kama nimesau kitu hota nisamea. Screen is frozen. Where is it? Is it still frozen? You can't be able to see me now. Okay. Kama ime choka pia. Let me put it clear. You need to be talking. Mwako mnaonge. Mina heza funza ni malize tu nikiwa sijui kama screening kona issues. Just unmute and talk. One minute, I have seen where the problem is. My camera switched off. So I was talking about you could be able to see the salaries to partners be put in place. The commission is there. We have the sharing of uh, profit and losses. So once you finish it, you just need to do the summation there for each. I think my, my network is not stable right now. So 1140 plus 2180 plus 5908.75. We are getting 92. Here we get 9228. 9228.75. Then here we have 1150 plus 2120 plus 5908.75. Right? Getting into one 78.75. Once you finish up doing all this now, we can go to the other incomes. Eh? I think now we are together to that point. Now, when you go to the other incomes, you can use screen in my hand, just unmute and talk. Now, when you go to the other incomes, we can be able to apportion for the rental income. The rental income from your any commercial properties. So 750 divided by two, we need 375. And this one is 375. Now, the other income which I can be able to see there is the dividend income. Then when I go down there, when you're analyzing for the dividend income, there is an additional information number five, Namiwa. The dividend income was from the investment in shares in a local farmers cooperative society. When you now we go back to the north uh, to counter check on that, when you go to your north and you, you want to check on the the interest or the dividends income to the individuals. For example, we have been told here, um, the dividends which are received from a cooperative society, they are subjected to further taxation. So how much are they? In our case here, the dividends income was around uh, 560. So 560 divided by two, getting here to 80, and also here to 80. The other thing I can see Sandra receipts, uh, uh, the gain on foreign interest on deposit with foreign bank. There is an interest with foreign. So now that cartoon is so on the side of the interest income to the individuals, we said 
it is qualifying, right? But now here, it is just qualifying within Kenya. Remember this one was coming from the foreign bank. So 14 divided by two, this one is 24, and this one is 24, right? We also have the properties on the, they are not part of uh, other incomes. Now, what is the total taxable income now for both? Zile expenses in Miacha Mali, and they are subjected for uh, they are disallowable and so on. Uh, so 98.75 plus 375 plus 280 plus 24, getting 1857. 92.28.75 92.28.75 plus 375 plus 280. Plus 24. Getting 8907.75. That is how you deal with the with partnership. So there is only one question which is remaining, and I will be able to do it on Sunday. And the question for the last sitting, I will be able to do it uh, for next sitting, next Sunday. Uh, uh, so that uh, and that one discusses about the company. It acquired your chapter yeah, taxation of the business and the taxation of the partnership altogether. Then um, later on in that day we will be able to engage on the uh, capital allowances, capital allowances, capital allowances. I think now we are on the right track. We are on the right track. So any question, please.